want to say that we're not uh, competing at the same level that they are, but we're not playing as smart as yeah. 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 Our, our defense breaks up right now. Um, you know, really, really hurting. So, you know, when we just leaving J.R. Smith wide open, you know, yeah. letting Tristan get, you know, back to back lob dunks. Um, letting LeBron wide open dunks, turnovers. I mean, these are just things that you know, we've been talking about all season, but, you know, they really come back to bite you in a situation like this. So, I think that's where we have to tighten up. You know, I think. We take care of the open shots, the turnovers, the ball keeping the level right there. We've never seen it was tonight. Do you sense this frustration? Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of frustration. I mean, just, just in the locker room for, you know, I don't think individually, you know, a lot of us feel like we can play better. Um, collectively, you know, we're just not on point as a unit. You know, we're not playing on a string. Um, defensively, we're kind of individually doing our own thing. So I think we just need to just, just take a breather and just regather ourselves. I mean, we know how to play and we know how to beat this team and the last two games we haven't done that. HB, I know you told me one of you to just stay relaxed out there. Um, as a couple of those misses started to mount, did you start to feel the weight of them in the game? No, you don't feel the weight of them. I mean, you just you just let them go, but, you know, it's the you know, continual you know, getting wide open shots and they're not going in. They feel good and they're not going in. Um, you know, it's frustrating, but, you know, you continue to shoot. Do you sometimes find yourself overthinking at all? No, not overthinking. Um, shots just, you know, aren't going in. The shots aren't going in. Is there a thought that it's getting easy when you lay up the dunk or something? I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but I mean, is there a thought that maybe to get get you going? Yeah, you know, trying to definitely um, find the easy one any way, shape, or form. Um, and right now they're coming in wide open threes, so, you know, eventually trying to knock them down. You had said after last game that you're open shots, and today it seemed like you were even more open in some cases. Is that more exasperating? It wasn't like you were forcing. No, I mean that's um, that's the good and the bad. The good is right. that you know I didn't take too many contested shots. The bad is that I didn't hit any open shots. So right. um, you know I anticipate Game Seven probably being even more open than I was tonight, and kind of knocked down. Are making shots how you evaluate a good game for yourself? Not at all. Um, you know, defensively, you know, that is that's how I you know, judge you know good game, bad game, um, yeah. trying to go forward, rebound, and stuff like that. Um, it is nice to make shots, especially when you have wide open ones, but that's not what, if I would have made six straight shots, it doesn't take away from the defensive effort. It looks like Thank you. Thompson is off the glass. Is it as hard as it looks? Yeah, I mean, you got to give him credit. I mean, he's playing, uh, he's playing at a high level right now. Um, he was always a handful to keep off the boards, but you know, seven, we try to make a concerted effort. I mean, that's the guy that's getting the offense rebounds. He's getting them the extra possessions, which, you know, have our breakdowns out of the wide open three the dunk or the free throws that slow the game down. How does his, especially offensive rebounding ability, change what you have to do out there? I mean, you know, you have to just be devoted to you know, keeping them off the boards. You know, I think it's um, it's not an individual job. It's more of a more of a team responsibility. And, you know, he's the guy, like I said, that's getting those offensive rebounds for them, just getting those possessions. And lastly, how do you feel about heading home with yeah. that advantage in the game set? Do you feel like that's the momentum you need, or are they trending upward with their momentum? I mean, it, it really comes down to um, little things for us. I mean, whether you know, we're at home or wherever we're in, um, you know, Cleveland, you know, it comes down to us being locked in, us being focused, and we're staying, you know, their runs. Is it difficult to sort of wash away the, with, with in terms of just I mean things you know things haven't gone well for you, you guys and it, it seemed like some guys that have lost their composure at times and that that's I mean do you feel differently I mean it's, it's been frustrating I mean just um, you know, individually collectively I think we all know that you know, we can play better and we're not I think that's what's that's what's been um, most frustrating especially you know going up through one and feeling like we had a, a formula that worked and uh, coming into game seven, I mean, you have to just, you know, put all of the, the frustration aside. I mean, it's, it's 48 minutes to determine uh, who's going to be NBA champion. Um, was, was Steph's reactions tonight, was that kind of out of character for him? I mean, uh, just, I mean getting into it a little, little bit with LeBron and then the sixth foul and the frustration with that? I mean, he was, he was frustrated. I mean, there's nothing in his entire time in the league that would show that this is anything more than just, just frustration built up. I mean, it's not anything else. Okay. Thank you.
Thank you. Last thing, uh, changing subjects. Uh, how do you, how do you feel about your buddy Andrew Bogut? About what? Your buddy Andrew Bogut going down like that? Um, man, it's tough to tough to see Bogut out like that. Um, yeah, he's had some freak injuries in his career, and this is kind of you know another one, you know, that just kind of you know, happened out of nowhere. But I think you know it's been good for him to kind of be around the team. Um, it's been, you know, been keeping his spirits up. Um, and he's just as much a part of this as any of us. He gets a double whammy because then now his uh, Olympics is in jeopardy. Have you guys talked about that at all? Yeah, we're talking about it a little bit. Um, you know, he really hasn't said said too much. He just wants to get, get back in the cab and you know, hopefully try to beat the clock. But, you know, it, it's a tough situation, especially because you know, that was probably going to be his last Olympics. You know, he's very excited for that and all that type of stuff.